A good commander must learn to be decisive in war. Hesitation or mistakes can mean the difference between victory and defeat. Just as a soldier practices his spear thrusts, so too must a commander learn to be efficient and repeat tasks until he knows them by heart. Sun Tzu says, a clever fighter wins his battles by making no mistakes. Making no mistakes is what establishes the certainty of victory, for it means conquering an enemy that is already defeated. Few generals make it this far. Let us see if you are one of them. One of the most common strategies in multiplayer games is the Fast Castle Age strategy. Today, you will learn to execute a particular build order for this. A build order is a set of instructions to be strictly followed in order to guarantee the most efficient gameplay. They are quite common in multiplayer games, so research them in your free time. First of all, it is very important to never leave your town center idle. Check your town center regularly to see if a villager is being trained. If not, use the Go to Town Center hotkey to jump to your town center and click the Create Villager button to train or queue up another villager. If you do not have enough food, force your villagers gathering food to drop off their resources. Use the rally flag in your town center to task it to send new villagers to a resource or construction site when they are trained or ungarrisoned. When villagers are newly created or when they complete a task, they can go idle. Keep an eye on the idle indicator on your top panel. Click on it or use the idle villager hotkey to cycle between idle villagers and send them back to work. Remember, Build orders are a great way to improve your play, but do not forget to strategize. No single game is the same, so you will often need to think outside of the box. Good luck! Click on your town center and queue multiple villagers. Have two villagers build one house, and one villager build the second house. Use your scout cavalry to look for sheep and other resources. Send any idle or new villager to collect food from sheep. Do this until you have six villagers collecting from sheep. Kid? The next villager that you create must build a lumber camp. Do not forget to queue up more villagers as well. When they are created, task them to collect wood. Do not forget to keep training villagers. Your town center should not fall idle. If you are relatively new to luring boars, you should research loom at your town center after your next villager is trained. Experienced players can save loom for later. The next villager that you create will have to build a house near one of the boars. Make sure that your scout keeps on exploring. You need to find all eight sheep and both boars. Do not forget to keep training villagers. Your town center should not fall idle. Set the rally point of your town center on your forage bushes and have the next villager that you create build a mill next to them. Do not forget to keep training villagers. Your town center should not fall either. Kia? 
Forgrunnet. Kia. Bra bygge. You do not have the food to create more villagers. Force your boar hunters to drop off their food at your town center, and then immediately task them back to the boar. Do not forget to keep training villagers. Your town center should not fall idle. Lure the boar to your town center. You should know how to lure a boar by now. If you do not, play the early economy challenge. Lure the second boar with the next villager that you create. Have the next three villagers also forage for berries. Build another house. Send the next six villagers that you create to collect wood. Build a second lumber camp to spread out your lumberjacks. This will make your lumberjacks more productive and ensure that you have two places to collect wood from in case of an enemy attack. You will need another house after the next villager is trained. Send the next three villagers to build a mining camp and mine gold. Rabuja, kid, cold hole. Rabuja, forger. Rabuja, Kia. You will have enough villagers to advance to the next age once the next one is trained. Cue the feudal age research at your town center. Rabuja Kia Rabuja Kid Boon 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 It Erla Kid Erla Rabuja Forgera Boon It Yeah. 
There is not much to do while you wait to reach the feudal age. Keep scouting and keep an eye on your villagers to make sure that they do not go idle. Once you reach the feudal age, you will need 325 wood to build a blacksmith and a market. Queue up two more villagers while you wait for the feudal age to be researched. Have them and any other idle villagers collect wood once they are created. Now, task one villager to build a blacksmith, and task two villagers to build a market. Hint, if you have more than 900 food stockpiles, research double bit axe at your lumber camp. This is a very good early technology. Feed, 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 fear. Kid. Balgara. Rob, Rob, Wigga. Nianaga. Excellent. You have completed this challenge. Hopefully you are happy with your time. If not, feel free to try again. <laughs> <laughs> 